Massachusetts. And we can't see the results of the lag. And it looks like Ellis has it. We are playing 20-point matches. This is a USBA regional qualifier in Louisville, Kentucky at the beautiful Pendennis Club uh, for the Nationals. This is a qualifier. So the top four finishers in this tournament will win entry into the Nationals in Las Vegas in May at the Tropicana Hotel. And here we go. Ellis is going to play the break shot. we got a left-handed player here. Yes, we got a lefty. Strikes it well. A little bit long. Tables are playing hair long. We have new cloth on the tables, uh, especially in the beginning of the match. It's a little bit hair long. Uh, but then halfway through the match, it kind of becomes normal. Yeah, the table does change, and the balls especially do change. Uh, and there's not much you can do about that. No. Unless you can have it break and change the ball. But uh, they don't do that. No, we don't do that. Mays is going to drive the first ball to avoid a kiss. And play it natural. No problem. This is going to be an interesting shot. Maybe a bank shot. Three rails. Let's see if he can come up with something else. But might not like the bank. <coughs> what do you see here, Max? I don't know. I, he, he might even do a five rail bank if he's going to bank. But he's going to do a three rail natural. Yeah, I think he's got to hit it very thin. Very I guess thin. he's not enough room. So he's got to watch the kiss. Drives the ball. Uses a lot of spin. Can he get it long enough? No problem. Actually, uh, it's tough to question anything Mason does. He yeah. plays just beautifully in there. Anything we say is going to be superfluous to what he's doing. As uh, Jim said, he's a 2006 USBA champion and well-earned and always competitive wherever he plays. Has a room in uh, New Hampshire. New Hampshire. Whisk it or hooks it? Hooks it. Yeah, hooks set New Hampshire. Yeah. He's quite a competitor. Short angle off the yellow. No, around the table. On the outside of the ball, a little short. And I notice that tends to happen when the uh, when you have the uh, slide on the table, and you, when you come around like that, it uh, has a tendency, the follow tends to uh, hook it a little short. Yeah, you tend to overdo it sometimes because you're figuring it's going to slide and you want to make sure that slide doesn't get you. Yeah, well. And you go to the other side Yeah, too much. But, but, this, but what happens is the slide works against you when you hit more ball. Alice is going to play this way. Beat this kiss. Ooh, wow, you just beat that kiss. <laughs> <Like> okay. <laughs> Dangerous shot. Nice shot. Yeah, I noticed that if, you hit, if, if Mason had played that uh, around the table shot and he hit it very thin, then the slide goes, it just goes ridiculously long. But if you hit more ball, it'll go short. It, it'll shorten up. And, and then the speed becomes a big oh, factor. Very big factor. Going to be a plus two shot. Nope. In the hole. Ellis is a very, very, very good player. He's a very dangerous player, and he's improving. He's been playing in a lot of tournaments lately. Every time I turn around, he's, he's around. And he's been giving me a hard time lately, so. This is the first I've seen him play, and he's very, very steady at the table. It's, he's it's becoming more confident now. Looks like he's got all the basics down. He's got a great stroke. He can stroke the ball like, like there's no tomorrow. Both of these guys got big strokes. It's nice to talk to you again, Jim. I think the last time we did this was in the Louisville airport last year. Yeah. For last about year. two hours. Yeah. Well, last year, uh, yeah. Both our flights were sort of messed up. Yeah, what happened? Was there snow or something? I don't know the answer to that, but I know I had to run to catch my flight. Oh, nice try. A little bit too much stuff for me in there. Yeah, last year after the tournament, uh, me and Max just happened to be in the airport together, Louisville Airport, where both of our flights were delayed. And uh, we ran into each other, and we uh, sp ended up uh, eating together and spending a couple hours. And I had a nice chance to finally talk with each other, actually, instead of just the usual.
usual, hi, bye, how are you doing? Yeah, right, tournaments. or a call on the phone, can I get in? Yeah. Something like that, can I get into the tournament? Because he's, I'm actually sitting next to the king, you know, really. Uh, you want to get in the tournament in some way, you've got to go through <laughs> show back. That's, so. not, that's not really true. You're exaggerating a little bit. Try to play a rail first to I the think red. There's nothing on it. Yeah. Coming on the out, like this. Oh, look at this shot. He hit it. Oh man, what a shot! Beautiful. Wow. I think you're fine, Jim. If you have a chance to look at the table, you're going to get a different view than you are on this. Oh yeah. You know, on the monitor. Right Absolutely. That's how uh, my previous partner here, uh, Tom Rossman, got so smart. He kept looking at the table. And struggling trying to see how much oh. distance there is from the rail that I've read. Yeah, you can look at the table as yeah, well. Yeah, right. It helps. Some kind of cross table shot here. Rail first he played and he made Beautiful it. Shot. Oh, really wow. wow, he played that. Rail first with reverse English. It just came in perfect. Alright, now this is one of those shots that uh, Looks like it's you could just go around the table or something and play a five rail shot, but there's kisses everywhere. I could just see it already. Yeah, this just could be a stone fight. <laughs> you could also drop it in. Apparently, there's a hair on the ball. For some reason, Mason is called in to remove the hair. I don't know why Mason. Well, he has a reputation of being a good hair remover. I guess. Look at him, can't you see? <laughs> <laughs> I think Ellis is going to uh, stun the ball and flatten it right into the corner. He's going to try. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Very good. Thank you. Yeah, no, that, that helps a lot. That's perfect. Oh, okay. You mean a screensaver? Okay. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Uh, we, we can now see the score. That helps. I think I'm right with the score. That looks like it's frozen. This uh, amazing shooting, he can actually rain billiards when his balls are going his way. He makes them so fast. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He'll turn around and, uh, you know, run eight on you in like three minutes. <laughs> you know who's another one that does that like crazy? is Sonny Cho. Yes. Oh, my goodness. You know, he'll run eight and nine on you, and you look at your watch, and it's like a minute and a half went by. <laughs> it suits so quick. He knows He knows exactly pretty much what he's going to do just before, he even, before the balls even stop. <laughs> he's like right on it. You know, Jim, I can't get over this thing with the hair on the ball. If you look at these two players, you'd have to wonder where the hair came where from. Where did that hair come from? <laughs> <laughs> Neither one of them's got a hair on their head. Does either one of them have a mustache? That was have a mustache. Uh, you think he does, yeah. <laughs> it might be a mustache here. Let's hope. And let's leave it at that. <laughs> Mason's going to kill me. <laughs> I can't see the ball. Going off the inside of the ball, I believe. Inside of the white. He did, didn't he? No, I couldn't even see that. Oh, he just missed the kiss. He's going to play this with a nice shot. Ooh. A lot of spin. Went long, but it was well. He hit that pretty well. And just, just barely avoided a kiss, which is half the half the job.
well when I was watching. I just did your game before, and if you notice how quickly Mason got up to the table. He knew what he was going to shoot before he got out of the chair. And really? boy, that's such a, you had a lot of those shots too. Yeah. And that, that makes it such a, you can play with such confidence when you see the shot right away. You don't have to look for one. There's, uh, in my opinion, there's three, three major factors that affects uh, your confidence level and how you play at the table. Uh, the first one, of course, is uh, the, number, but the first one is the shots that you get, obviously. Uh, sometimes shots show up that you know, it's a no-brainer. You already, you already know what you're going to do when, when you come to the table. But if you get, keep getting difficult at the difficult at the difficult position, you start losing your confidence because you just you just uh, you, you feel unsure at the table. When that happens, you don't even want to go to the table. You don't even want to. That's right. Like night pass. <laughs> Whoa, boy! I don't think he needed that to hit it that speed. But, uh, he hit the side rail first. Didn't yeah, he? yeah, he got the long rail. Even at that speed, you would have thought it would have backed into that ball. He almost he made it to the back of the. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, so one is the shots you get. Uh, two is the condition of the, the way the table and the balls are playing. Sometimes you're very, very comfortable with the way everything's playing, and that helps your confidence tremendously. But if you're uncomfortable, if it's playing, you know, longer than you like or shorter than you like, uh, that uh, that also affects your confidence at the table. Uh, and the third thing is simply how you feel at the time. Sometimes you're at the table and tired, or you're hungry, or maybe you're nervous, things like that. All those things affect your uh, confidence level at the table. I noticed the last shot that the uh, amazing shot, the ball came off the middle diamond there, mm -hmm. and then it didn't have that much slide, but if you had dropped the ball, the diamond down, you'd have had a lot of slide, and I don't know why that is. I mean, that's probably the way uh, I think the it's geometry the, works. I, I but think it, it's the angle to the table, um, it came, uh, I don't know how to describe it, you know, more direct, yeah. instead of at a, at a, you know, at a, uh, I don't know what's the word, when you're coming like You this. got into this, you get out of it. Yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was just an observation, it, it, it happens on a good table, and you don't always get slide no matter where you hit it. No, no, it depends how you hit it. It depends what English you use. It depends, uh, of course, your speed, and it depends on the angle that it's coming into into the rail. Ellis plays nicely. He knows all the shots. No, no, Ellis has been around for for a long time. I, I didn't realize that. I didn't either. I met him like two years ago or three years ago, and uh, you know, I think he's been around this game for a long time. Uh, he may have get gotten away from the game like a lot of people do. They'll get away from the game for many years and then come back. But from what I know, he's been around for a long time, so he's uh, knows how to play. And I'm not sure what Mason is doing here. Some kind of plus two, or else off the outside of the ball with reverse. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, like that. And then near the corner, it might be too deep. Look, he got it right in that corner. See where it came out? Yeah. Came out to four and a half diamonds on the. Do you think that he was playing it that way, or he just didn't hit it as no, like he wanted to? No, yeah, I think he. You he think he playing at the he three he rails. He, want, he knew he had to get it uh, deep into that uh, corner uh, to make the shot, but but not that deep. He got it too deep. If he hit like maybe a half a diamond on the long rail mm -hmm. going in, I think he was fine. But he got it really deep in that corner. <coughs> he just hit it too good. Depending on how you look yeah, at it. Yeah. I think Ellis is like gonna, that when he, when he hits the ball Ellis too thin. He's going to play a similar shot, but he you know, overdid it. If someone hits it too good, he hit it too good. Yeah, too good, but really he hit it bad. Yeah, he hit so. it bad, right. It's true. it's true. I think that expression comes when you have a, a very difficult shot where you need a super thin hit. And then you hit it thinner And you hit that. it even thinner right, than right. you need, and that's why they say hit it too good. But it's always good to, to err on that side, you know, on the, so to speak. I guess
got some hook there. But, ooh, good shot. Yeah, did you see that? You notice that hook? It went, yeah. It went one, two, three, and then it, and then the little slightly dipsy doodle thing. Uh, to make it come in a little even shorter than I think he, he thought it was going to happen. Hook and bam, when you hit it too thin and you're ready, somebody says good, good hit. Kelly Diaz has a saying. He says, uh, "Beautiful hit, now please sit." <laughs> It's not like a natural angle to the first rail. It's like you have to go yeah, backwards those, a little those bit. Those are hits I try to avoid. <laughs> the shots. I look for something else. Beautiful shot. And I think he's going to go natural here. It's uh, coming short. Like this. Use some speed to make sure it comes short enough. Yeah, on that shot, if you don't use speed, Generally speaking, what's going to happen? You're going to miss by at least a diamond. Yeah, you're going to miss by almost a, a, about a diamond on the uh, last rail. It's just not going to get short enough. This is a natural, but you got to control the ball. You have to hit it very, very thin. No problem at all. I think Mason's on a roll now. He didn't get the best of the roll there. No, he didn't. But I think Mason will figure something out here. You may play a cross table. Two rails first behind the red. Uh -oh, we got a, I got a good view here, looking right at the table. Oh uh, yeah, I can see now too. Yeah, I can see how much space is between the balls. Yeah, uh, that helps. You can even play around the table. You can play bend off the red. Yeah, but that's a tough place to get to. Just to go behind the, ball, the yellow ball. You might do maximum spin with the draw and just go right to the go corner. Two rails first, I think. Let's see what he does. No, oh, he did it that way. Yeah, that's funny. On the screen, it doesn't look like you play that shot. Yeah, right. you can't tell how much the distance you have. You can see on the, some, the long rails, but the short rails is tough to see. But how much? Uh, you saw it from here. How much yeah. space was there? Oh, I'd say you had more than the width of a ball. More than a width. Yeah, of a ball? I think so. Yeah. Oh. So you know how amazing to me how different players are good at certain types of shots. Like they just yeah. eat them up. And then they're bad on other ones, you know, that, that, that you might be good at. And you're like, oh, how could he miss by so much? He's not good at that type of shot. Uh, I play with a fellow back home in Philadelphia area a lot. And he doesn't miss cross table shots. I Anything mean, any table. kind of, with a reverse thing, it's any kind of way you have to play it. He makes those shots. It doesn't matter. He makes it. But naturals. But Another story. No, he can't make the naturals. No, he's all right. He's nah, a nice no. player, but nowhere near, near as much confidence as he has in the cross table shots. No, you're right. I, I've seen it so many times. I mean, I, I know people that, you know, they're, they're not good on most all the shots, but all of a sudden you give them a cross table reverse single shot, and they're making them. Making all of those. 
<laughs> but he can't make a natural. He can't make a short natural. It's, uh, it's amazing. Everybody's got their little specialties and weaknesses. It's the uh, English to maintain through the third rail. Mm -hmm. Actually, I thought that was going to go long but, uh, for a second. But the speed kept it uh, kept it from shooting out. Now, this is a natural. It's a trick. But here's his faded. Oh, he just... Uh, you have to hit it with a high running ball, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, he didn't have to hit it you that high. You want to get your ball out of there before the other ball comes back. He didn't close. have to hit it that high because the, the angle wanted to go really long. So all he did was, uh, I think he just uh, check stroked it a little bit just to keep the, the ball from going too long. And uh, looked like he had maybe a quarter ball. that shot, but he didn't leave a whole lot. 13 to 5. <coughs> Score is 13 to 5. Favor Mason now. He's a 20-point match. Yeah. Mason is the only A player here. <laughs> so, obviously, he is the favorite. <laughs> but uh, George Ashby was supposed to play, but he couldn't make it. Uh, Brian Half was Schedules, but he, uh, he was here and, and left late last night. He left, uh, I guess, nine at nine thirty last night. Yeah, he could have Something happened. Uh, but uh, I always missed that by a lot. Yeah, we had a couple, uh, two or three uh, last-minute changes. You know, to the. The tournament. We actually ended up with 23 players and not 24. So this one group has one less player. Amazing to going to drive the white. Uh, oh, excuse me, there. the yellow, but yeah, it's just never going to get there. Not going to get there. Yeah, it was too much bull. Yeah, what he wanted to do was drive it just like he did, but less pull, and then he would have no kiss problem. Goes to show you how difficult this game is, okay? I mean, the 2006 United States champion just came up and he didn't get the hit he wanted. You know, so that's you know, the game is not easy. He's just going to make it. You know, right out of spin. And Ellis chose that speed for obvious reasons. Yeah. But see, the problem with that, I, I've noticed this is. When you play the shot he just played, if you hit it really soft like that, unless you spin it a lot and very full, a lot of times you're going to miss the shot like that because you have no English left on the last round. So sometimes a little bit extra speed will make the shot. They got about less than the width of a ball on the red ball down here to the rail. Oh, what a oh, wait. almost made that. Played a ticky with draw. Yeah, just a little bit more draw. Yeah, just a little bit. I thought he had it. Must have just missed that. Let's see if we can predict the shots. What do you think? I think, I think it's a ticky there. He can play a ticky. It's possible. Will there be a kiss? He's going to the other side of the ball. Outside, coming short. With a little speed. Too much ball or a little bit too much speed? Too much speed, I think. It took some of the slide away. Of course, this is what we were talking about earlier. I mean, the, 
as the game goes on, the table conditions change a little bit. And you uh, lose the slide. Yeah. That's true. If that was uh, 10 innings ago, if there were in 10 innings, yeah. He was certainly hit good enough to make. Yeah, he would have made it. I think he's going to go uh, around the table. Three rounds. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be too long. I think so. I think so. Yeah, he knew it right away. He played a spin shot, which is nice because then he can, doesn't have to hit it too hard. Just uh, He didn't leave a whole lot here. The game today is played with a lot of spin, much oh. more so than it was years ago. Yeah. Years ago, it was all hit. Yeah. And, uh, I think uh, the spin gives you, allows you to do much more, many more things with the shot than uh, just making the hit. <coughs> But it makes, the sh makes it harder to hit, too. We were talking about that, me and Chris O'Brien. He doesn't like to use the too much spin a lot of times because the hit's hard. I said, yeah, it's true. But yeah, there's other benefits to it. It's harder. I think that with a spin shot, you can take a bad hit and turn it into a point. Uh, where with a oh, I see what you're saying. With a, just a hit where you miss your hit. So then I the game, then the shot's over. Oh, it's over with, yeah. But with a spin shot, you could be yeah. off by a little bit. Still Especially on short angle shots. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah, that's one of my things. I I'm, I play most of my short angle shots. I don't play like that. I play uh, at whatever English it calls for. No English, half a tip, or you know, just you know, two tips maybe. That's it. No, see, so you know your game well. You know your stroke well. idea, but yeah. tough shot to, to judge. Yeah, it is. But you, somewhere along the line, you got to throw a little reverse English in there, and that's always tough to play with. What's interesting is when you get on different equipment that you've never played on before, and you know, you've had a chance to practice a little bit, if you hit a few, and get an idea for the feel of the table, but then in the game, all of a sudden you start getting like these long up and down type of crazy shots like you just had that, you know, you didn't have a chance to practice that yet, and they're they're a little different on all the tables. <laughs> so a lot of times you'll miss. I'm gonna play a plus two. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. I don't like to see anybody miss a shot on billiards, but it makes me feel good to see that one though, because I have trouble with that angle. To see Mason get a little too short with it is. Strange to see. Yes, I want to say this to, to all of the A players that are out there, and better, if there is such a thing. Um, I guess the top players in the world, if anybody's listening. We, will, we, we want you to do well. We're not rooting against you. But when you miss a shot, especially a shot that should be made, it, we really like to see that because it makes us feel good. <laughs> that, we're, that we're not total idiots. It's, 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 not, just, it's not just us. <laughs> That's we what I meant to say. <laughs> <laughs> not quite as eloquently right. as you did. We're not rooting for you to miss, but when we do see you miss, we're not happy. We're not happy that you miss, but we're happy because we realize that all right, he's human too. She's human too, whoever it might be. I don't know what he's doing. Got kind of a rail first thing again. Would he go out outside uh, the ball? Can't, you know, I should have been watching the table here because yeah. this is the this. Disadvantage of uh, our location. <laughs> yeah, it's a little, maybe a little too far away from that's what I'm saying. No, not the ear, this one. Yeah, this Bring one. Bring it, bend it in a little bit. That's better. That's better. Okay. Okay. I guess three rails, or do you come into the corner? And back out. What do you do? Here we go. Oh boy, overcooked it. That's one of those you're talking about. It's a beautiful hit. Now please sit. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. You hit it nice, but. What is the phenomenon in this game where you're just.
go up there inning after inning after inning and maybe even you're getting shots but you're just missing everything by a hair something's off something's wrong then all of a sudden you're on the table and you run 10. what, what is that i don't know about what, what it's a phenomenon but it it definitely happens i know i mean it happens too often to be a phenomenon but <laughs> how about this phenomenon your opponent or excuse, excuse me you go up there and you run five all of a sudden your opponent comes right back with four or six. I see that a lot. Yeah, but it's like the other guy wakes up like, oh no, I yeah, better. And sometimes you, you give him a start too, a head start, but you leave him something to start with. Right. Because, because you're trying to make a shot maybe you wouldn't try to make right. if it was your first billiard. Right. And you see, so you're not thinking about the, the, sa the safety yeah, factor, yeah. you're just trying to score, so you leave him a shot. Yeah, you yeah. leave your speed gets out of whack. I did that with Ken Holstrom before. Okay. It was uh, early in the game. And. Uh, I ran a few points, and I'm just going for everything. I feel good at the table, and uh, I left him a, you know, the easiest shot on the table. You run, a, I think, a three off of it, and I'm sitting there going, "Well, I deserve it. <laughs> I deserve it." I didn't think about the leave. I'm just trying to score. So, if, you know, so if he ran a five or six off it, I mean, that could have cha actually changed the game early on in the game. Could have made me play tighter. You know what I mean? I like games, I like to call them shootout games, where you get up and, you know, you run three, they run two, you run two, they run four, yeah, you run be, three. It would be great to get one or have to do on this, this table here, to see a shootout game. People would love to watch that. Yeah, well, they're fun, they're, they're more fun to play, too, because, you know, no one's thinking about safety. We're just getting up there trying to score, and, uh, you know. Nice shot, very nicely done. Get that good speed. A nice shot. Perfect. He played that like he knew exactly what he had yeah, to he do. He knew he was going to make it. Yeah. I had a couple games like that with Don Sperber. We would just go back and forth and back and oh forth. Two, three, two, plays. three. Yeah, you know, yeah. And, uh, you know, the game, they were good games. Regardless of who won, it didn't matter. It was just, it was actually fun. Even though, you know, if I lost to him, it, you know, it was a close game and and I lost, but it was fun. Nobody's ducking each other. And, you know, it was just kind of fun to go at it, you know. You got a score of, uh, I believe it's 15 to 7 now. 15 to 7, Mason? Yes, maybe in favor of Mr. Shooty. How are we doing with the innings? I can't really see. Is that, is that right? Okay. Oh, it is. I yeah. would say the innings. 16th good. inning? Yeah, we don't say about an average of one. Okay, Ellis better make a move now. 15 to 7. Yeah, Ellis needs to get a roll here to help him, too. Yeah. He's one of those uh, okay. situations where good hits isn't enough for him at this point. He's can, he, get can, can he get this long enough? Yeah, I would think so. Maybe not. That's what I was wondering about, yeah. I was wondering if he should have doubled the rail off the ball. And left us, you know, left us safety too, in case he moves. No, Mason has got uh, at least, I can see at least three shots here. He's going to play cross table off the red. Three or five. Uh, let me look at that ball. No, three. Ball right. was, ball was that far off the bottom rail. So then you play at three. But if it's close to the rail, then five. Go five, yeah. yeah. Or four. Mm -hmm. Whatever, it, whatever, ha whatever works. <laughs> yeah, right. That's the way you played it. However, it scores. No, but you could tell that the speed he used and the action on the ball. You could tell he played at three, just like you said. Yeah, that red ball now is about uh, nine inches away from the rail. Yeah. See, I think he's going to play it long. Around the round the table longer from the back, like this makes it yeah. a, a much easier uh, 
target than trying to hit it direct. Four yeah. rails is nice. You almost invariably can avoid any kiss going four rails. Really? But uh, you have to be confident they're one-way shots. So there's no two that's ways it. about it. There's no, I like that. There's no two ways about it. That's, that's pretty good. This one will also be from the back. Now this is another natural. It's going to play it short, I believe, off the yellow. He either needs one or two. I'm trying to get a peek at that. He's got seven. He's got 18 now, so he's got needs two. Is it just natural short? It's going to make it go too long. Yes. Nope. So it'll be 19 and needs one more. And I think he's on inning 17, so he's doing good. I think it took him a few minutes to get acclimated to the table condition. And now he seems to be fine. He's playing for one, I think, All right, 19 to seven. Table four, five rails, six rails, seven. Rails. This is a tough one. Okay. What was he trying to do? There? Well, one or two. If he was trying for the really, Ran really, twice? if he was trying for a super thin hit with that speed, then he was trying to go three rails, one, two, three, short. But if that's what, it, if not, if that wasn't what he was trying to do, he was trying to go around the table. Twice. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, or seven rails. Or yeah, eight. He really hit that. He did hit it hard, yeah. But either way, if he wanted to come in short enough, if he wanted to, I gotta ask him after, if he wanted to come in short enough, he would need the same speed. He would have to hit it hard. There's no way for him to get short enough. But uh, I think he was playing around the table. We'll find out later. He was playing he six should or be able seven to rounds. Going around the table. Okay. Now we're in inning number 18, I believe. Mason at the table. Then hit around the table, coming short, and back into it. Should be game. No problem. Good shooting, Mason. I think that score. was an eight. I think it was 18 innings. Not too bad. Not score too shit. Score 20 to seven, favor Mr. Shooney. Outstanding play. We believe it. The innings were 18. It looks like 18 innings. Yeah. And Mr. Shun uh, from Massachusetts. And we can't see the results of the lag. And it looks like Ellis has it. We are playing 20 point matches. This is a USBA regional qualifier in Louisville, Kentucky at the beautiful Pendennis Club uh, for the Nationals. This is a qualifier. So the top four finishers in this tournament will win entry into the Nationals in Las Vegas in May at the Tropicana Hotel. And here we go, Ellis is gonna play the play break shot. We got a left-handed player here. Yes, we got a lefty. Strikes it well, a little bit long. Tables are playing hair long. We have new cloth on the tables, uh, especially in the beginning of the match. It's a little bit hair long, uh, but then halfway through the match it kind of becomes normal. Yeah, the table does change, and the balls especially do change. Uh, and there's not much you can do about that, no. unless you have it break and change the balls. But uh, they don't do that. No, we don't do that. Maze is going to drive the first ball to avoid a kiss and play it natural. No problem. This is going to be an interesting shot. Maybe a bank shot. Three rails. Let's we'll see if he can come up with something else. But might not like the bank. What do you see here, Max? I don't know. I, he, he might even do a five rail bank if he's going to bank. But he's going to do a three rail natural. Yeah, I think he's got to hit it very thin. Very I guess thin. he's not enough room. So he's got to watch the kiss. Drives the ball. Uses a lot of spin. Can I get it long enough? No problem. Actually.
actually uh, it's tough to question anything Mason does. He yeah. plays just beautifully in there. Uh, anything we say is going to be superfluous to what he's doing. As uh, Jim said, he's a 2006 USBA champion and well-earned and always competitive wherever he plays. Has a room in uh, New Hampshire, New Hampshire, Whisket or Hooksett? Hooksett. Yeah, Hooksett, New Hampshire. Yeah. Quite a competitor. Short angle of the yellow. No, around the table. On the outside of the ball, looks short. And I notice that tends to happen when the uh, when you have the uh, slide on the table, and you when you come around like that, it uh, has a tendency the follow tends to uh, hook it a little short. Yeah, you tend to overdo it sometimes because you're figuring it's going to slide and you want to make sure that slide doesn't get you. Yeah, well. And you go to the other side. Yeah, too much. But, this, but what happens is the slide works against you when you hit more ball. Ellis is going to play this way. Beat this kiss. Ooh, wow. Yeah, did you beat that kiss? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dangerous shot. Nice shot. Yeah, I noticed that if you hit, if, if Mason had played that uh, around the table shot and he hit it very thin, then the slide goes, it just goes ridiculously long. But if you hit more ball, it'll go short. It'll shorten up. And, and then the speed becomes a oh, big factor. Very big factor. Going to be a plus two shot. Nope. In the hole. Ellis is a very, very, very good player. He's a very dangerous player. And he's improving.